Did you know that many electrical testers will not test dual function GFCI, AFCI breakers? If you plug it in and push the button, a lot of times they won't trip. So if you're a home inspector or electrician, you may write it up as the breaker doesn't trip. And I ran across this one at a home inspection. So I decided to try it with all of my testers and I got some interesting results. So the testers that I tested it with are shown here. Four of them are just standard, basically three light testers. I've got a Klein. I've got this green one that the name has worn off of it because I've used it so long. I've got a Cobalt and I've got a Sperry. And then I also pulled out my Ideal Sure Test and I've got the Klein RT310. And I'm gonna try each of these on this outlet, which is connected to a dual function AFCI GFCI breaker. And we'll see which, if any, of these trip that breaker. So let's get started. Okay, here's the Klein. It did not trip it. Here's the Sperry. It doesn't trip it. Here's the Cobalt. Oh, it tripped it. And that's very surprising because that was the one I was using during the inspection and it didn't trip it, but this time it did. Anyway, let's continue on. Here's this green one. It doesn't trip it. Look at that, you still see the green light. Okay, now let's try out this Klein RT310, which is dual function rated. And it does trip it, so that's definitely a good thing. And now let's try the Ideal Sure test, this $300 plus tester, and see what it does. Look at that, it does not trip it. So the only one that reliably trips a dual function GFCI, AFCI breaker is the Klein RT310. So I think this is important for you to know if you regularly use these testers, that many of them will not trip these dual function AFCI, GFCI breakers, and that's important to know. But the Klein RT310 is dual function rated, and you can certainly count on it to test these things reliably for you. I hope this short video has been helpful to you. I really appreciate you watching. Have a great day.